I did a general video on chat GPT. You can watch it here. Basically, I describe what it is and what it can do. So today I will use it to build a trend following strategy and implement that strategy in a trading platform. Trend following strategy, it's been there for decades. There are hundreds of books written on the subject. So I'm assuming that this AI will find really good strategies about this subject. So let's start first by asking it, what is a trend following strategy? It's a type of investment, we know that. Trend following strategy can be applied to various markets, including stocks, commodities, and currencies. Really, really good. Give me an example of trend following system on indexes. So this is a simple one. It tracks two moving averages, short term moving average, such as 20 day and long term, such as 200 day. So basically it's a crossover moving average. So not only it can program for us, it can actually educate us on the strategy we are using. So now that we understand what the strategy is, let's take some sample code. Now, because it's crashing all the time, I did save the sample code already. So let me show you. So I started with this, write a trend following strategy with stop loss and profit target and trailing stop in easy language. So easy language is for trade station and you can port it to multi chart. And this is the strategy I got. So this is the code on the right and on the left, this is the development environment for TradeStation. And let me show you the mistakes that it did. So first of all, the variable uptrend and downtrend, these are the variables. So uptrend, it's a moving average of the highs of 10 bars uh, greater than the 50. So basically we have two moving average, but the result of this is a true false and it sets up uptrend and downtrend as zero. So this is numerical variable. Basically, it's in trade station. You cannot have this. It's either a Boolean true false or a numerical value. So that's the first thing I had to fix. So instead of zero, I put false here. Then the next thing it's if uptrend, basically, if we are in an uptrend, then do the following. So when you do many of the following, you're doing more than one step. So you need to add, it's like a loop. So there need to be a loop here that begins and ends. So it has the end, but there is no begin. So that's the second thing I added here. So then begin. And finally, it's assuming that the market price is the same. So buy next bar at market, that's correct. But then this is the profit target, sell next bar at market plus profit target. So this can't be, of course, because the market price is market price. You need to exactly tell trade station what price. So this could be the entry price, and then you need to set the bar time and so on. So I make it a lot simpler. I just put set stop loss, set profit target, and I ignored all the three lines. So that's why you have the forward uh, marks here. That means just ignore them. So this is the program. Now, one more thing. The input for stop loss, profit target, and trailing stop. Of course, we're not using trail stop now. So profit target 20, stop loss is 10. So I don't know how this logic is working. Probably this is 10%, 10 points, 10 pips. We don't know. So we need also to adjust this. So I am going to apply this on natural gas. This is on futures. So I put the stop loss at $5,000, profit target at $10,000. And that's what we are going to use. So this is the strategy now applied to natural gas. And we can edit the strategy, you can see. So the stop loss is 5,000, the profit target is 10,000, and the trailing stop is not used. And we can see the performance, let's see the data here. And let's see the strategy performance. So the strategy did make a lot of money, actually. 123,000 <laughs> with this simple strategy. And lost on the long side and made money on the short side. So 300 trades, averaging not, almost $1,000 per trade on the short side with 104. So it's 50-50 in terms of trades and losing only 93 on the long side. So I assume that's really easy. We can make this profitable on the long side 
with a simple filter. Remember this strategy had no filter. So the signal is basically a moving average. That's it. So the next step now is I ask it to add a market filter. So add a market filter. Remember, this is already done and it understand. I don't need to repeat everything. I just say add a market filter. And here is this is the answer. Here is an example of the same trend following strategy with additional market filter. It already knows that I wanted it in easy language. It already knows that I wanted this on the same strategy. And this is what it did. It added this volatility threshold. And now, so this is a new input and this is a new variable. And this is the strategy. And here is the code. So again, we need to fix the same thing. So the uptrend and downtrend, these are false or true. So it need to be set to false. And then the current volatility, this is a number. So we keep it at zero. And same thing for this, I need, because this is a loop. So we add begin here and we keep the end. Same thing here, add begin. And again, I'm going to ignore the profit target stop loss trailing stop, and we're only going to set it here. And since we are still on the natural gas, so I kept it at 5,000 and 10,000. Now, the volatility threshold, again, this is something you need to think of. So the filter is if the current volatility, which is the average true range of 10, greater than the volatility threshold, which is 1, then this will uh, act but of course in natural gas you see the prices uh, so one is is a huge <laughs> it's a huge uh, value and so i adjusted that to 0.35 so 0.35 it's still it's a big value uh, but it's something that will filter some trades so now let's uh, do this and let's see the performance so we are still making money on the short side 72 but less money but now look at this the average trade is a lot bigger it's like one and a half x the previous so without the filter we were making about a thousand dollars now we are making one thousand five almost five hundred and without the filter we lost a hundred dollars with the long side and now we are making uh, we are losing five hundred dollars now we can do something here let's uh, flip this and see if it makes any difference. Now look at this. This is 2,200. So we went from 900 to 1,500 to 2,200 on the short side. And the long side kept at 100. But now we filter a lot of trades. So this is 50. So let's lower the threshold a little bit. So first of all, let me bring this variables so i can change it here so let's try three so now it's same trades and we're making money now on the long side uh, let's try two five long side is losing and let's try two again long side is losing but <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do the short side is making money let's try one five Again, short side is making money. And again, short side is making. And th this looks the best. It's 100 trades with still the same thing. But now we're making money on both sides. This is so exciting because the interaction is, is very smooth. I mean, you're talking to it in natural language. And it's giving you a program, not just text. And then you can put the, te the the program and test it. And it's already profitable. I mean, I I tweaked it a little bit, but you saw like how my tweak even, it, it started profitable. So it's very easy to make it even more profitable. And of course, if you know what you're doing, like you are an algo trader, then you can easily add filters here. Now, the volatility filter here, it's, it's kind of good, but of course you can make it better really easily. And this is a single time frame, single instrument. Of course, I picked an instrument that's already aligned with uh, trend following. And if you are a viewer of the channel, you already know this. I spoke about this a million times now. You need to pick the right instrument to align it with the right style uh, of strategy. 
So trend following matches the energy sector, of course, very well. We already know this. And now I took it a little bit further. So write the strategy in MQL4 language. This is MetaTrader 4. And I know nothing about MetaTrader 4. Only I know that whatever strategy you build in easy language, it will be, the code will be four times as long. So now here is also something else. This is already done and saved. And now I just logged in and it is working. So since it is saved, I can continue the conversation. How about use Bollinger Bands in trend following strategy in easy language. It's running slow. It's usually a lot faster. So let's hope it doesn't crash. <laughs> And now it's done and it, it's a good actually good uh, strategy i can tell already this is uh, doing well using the close uh, with the of course with the band so you can see it's a lot of fun and you can actually get new ideas to build new strategies now also it can help you with coding so for example i know a lot of my students in the algo trading master class they you know they want to get the strategy from sqx into trade station and sometimes they find uh, small obstacles. So for example, let's say you want to add a trailing stop and you don't know how to program this. So let's see if it can help us there. Write a trailing stop program in easy language. And this is what it came up with. So this is one way to do it. It's basically tracking the entry price minus a 10% of the range. So every bar, it deducts 10% of the range and deduct it from the entry price. And that's the trailing stop. And it, it does it for long and for short. It's not perfect, of course. But remember, you're starting from not scratch. You're starting from this. So let's say you don't know anything about building a trailing stop. At least now we have something. Remember before this, you need to go on TradeStation forums and ask, can somebody help me to write a trailing stop? And then somebody will give you a code after a couple of days and then you take. Uh, this is now, it's like five, 10 minutes. Let's say it takes you one hour trial and error, and then you will find what you are looking for. So again, it's really amazing that we have this tool. I cannot believe it is available for free. I'm sure it will not stay for free forever so make sure to check it out test it even for fun to learn more make sure to watch these videos and i will see you there